Hey, out of body explorers, this is actually part two of the Circus Soleil hashtag Beatles love. I need to tell you this story. And basically Sunday before this show, I did a reading for a friend who I'm very tight with. It turned out to be my reading and I kept seeing the Beatles and the Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. And I saw some demonic things in there. And then I saw portals. And so I didn't even realize it was my reading. So Tuesday comes and I open up my emails from school and guess what? We get free tickets to see the Circus Soleil hashtag Beatles love. And so I get there. We wait for an hour and the lines were totally back all the way around the corner. And when we finally get closer, next thing you know, they say, you don't have any tickets. All tickets were sold out. Big mistake giving you guys the free tickets, blah, blah, blah. And the security guard goes, I have not seen these lines since COVID. Now, I already know there's things being repeated. So here in my head, you're seeing this. You must go get the tickets. So I wait online a little longer, me and my friend, and I overhear behind me somebody trying to give tickets away. And the individual says, oh, do you have three tickets? And the person giving it away goes, no, I only have two. I turn my head. I grab those tickets and I'll take them. And I run. Me and my friend run. So we end up getting these unbelievable tickets for $142 right on the bottom so we end up getting in for free anyway but this video is about the cryptic stuff that was put out there so the first night in the circus soleil they put the beatles music backwards and right there it hit me that sunday reading was about me and i had to remember all these things that i was like oh my gosh they're telling me this and immediately the song was going backwards and i looked at my friend and i'm like oh no i need to protect you so i started putting a whole cover of light and praying on her praying on myself i'm like the portals are coming the portals are coming and sure enough the curtains went down and all these black and white portals came through you know the checkered board now this is the tuesday night where it was packed packed like you wouldn't believe and the things that were coming out and the red lights of it all being darkness and the prayers of this weird seance thing that they were doing. Every break they had, they had somebody walking in with an umbrella like someone just died. The little children had these masks on, just like in the movie The Shift. So everything was cryptic. The cross is on fire where a rabbit laid right on it. And now, all due respect to the actors in this show. Excellent. When the devil's wearing a boudoir outfit with ears and he's a man and his crotch is being held tight by his underwear, there was something really wrong with that. And when we kept seeing the flames, which I'm trying to show you, I couldn't get these pictures because they don't allow to let you take pictures, so I'm going to look for them. Yeah, it was not right. And now what happened was I went back to get those other free tickets. We went back the following week. And guess what? Nothing we saw on Tuesday was the same on that next Thursday that we watched it. It was lighter. It was nicer. So those two times that I went, they weren't the same. I'm telling you. I also had a little bit better seats the second time because we got to see all of it. But I am not a big fan of red lights, burning your crosses, having a man dressed up in a boudoir outfit with ears coming out of his head as if he was the devil. I'm not a big fan of showing children in their bed while they show their parent dies and goes up to the ceiling. The show is phenomenal, but the backstory is not what you're thinking. Be careful of what you're listening to and always cover yourself and pray for yourself when you go into situations like that. Okay? That is my review on hashtag Beatles Love at the Mirage in Las Vegas. I'll see you in my next video.